I don't see like the, the, the budget on the card, so I just go and buy. <laughs> I feel a lot about who is paying at the restaurant. Ah, yeah. You want to go out a little bit more, and I was like, eh, mm, my budget is not going down that way. Yes. So <laughs> Ciao guys. Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampies. So what is the the things that irritate you about, most about me? And that thing that you do right there. I, I you sure. Don't you want to be interviewed on your in your own channel? What what lamp is your opinion? Please. Just remember to like this video, leave a comment please and remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you don't do that, you are not going to get the news about our new video that we are releasing every week. Yeah, it's good that you really say the notification because I think uh, most people just subscribe but it's important that if you want to get a notification or a notice every time we put out a video and we do that every single week, make sure that you hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next amazing and entertaining content. <laughs> Anyways, so serious note, like on the serious issue. Okay, none of these issues are even serious, but yeah, what we have prepared for you today. I would say number one, dishes. Ah, yeah, that is something So the I rule, hate. the rule is the rule is, the, the rule should be, uh, let, no, let's say. No, it is also like The that. rule it is, but somebody is not respecting the rule, so the rule should be, and somebody I mean you. There is a kind of agreement in our marriage, it's not a written one, but is there. Maybe that's there. why it's not working. Yeah, maybe we should put a contract. And I sign it. Uh, and I sign it. But who is cooking is not making the dishes. So the other person, after you have cooked, should be cleaning the dishes, okay? If they are not too full to clean the dishes. Yeah, no. <laughs> there is no too full. You need to get, the, you finish, you get, and then you clean the dishes. Then, the, other, the second rule is, okay, even if you are tired and you don't want to clean the dishes right away, maximum you can wait up to evening, but before you go to bed, the kitchen should be clean. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree with that. But... I agree. Ah, uh, you agree, but do no. you do that? Oh, that's another thing, but I, I absolutely agree. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I just good. find it person personally, I find waking up in the morning with the dishes in this kitchen sink just soaking <laughs> with the all the sponge they are soaked of cold water is something that really like it just I don't know it's just when you wake up in the morning and I don't know you discover that the coffee machine is broken it's not Lang a good morning you know Langsome. and I get what you're saying because for me to be honest I just wake up, I don't switch on the kitchen light and go to the bathroom and get out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us, it's just, and okay, <laughs> we see you in the morning, okay, I need to work, and do you have, we have the dishes from yesterday, can you please, oh, choose. <laughs> That's lampy, okay. I have to go, I really have to go on time today. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just, no, just say it, leave it there, yeah, leave I it there, it. we'll do it when I come back. She comes back at five in the, in the evening, so. I should be living in this small apartment with the dish with the sink of the, the kitchen full of dishes that are dirty from yeah, the fair. previous day. And it, it, I, I don't know, it's just impossible. So I have to clean the dishes. I've then. never seen you talking so passionately about this topic. I mm -hmm. think you really love either the dishes or making the dishes or I don't know. Making the dishes. <laughs> I think we argue on daily basis is either food and money. I would just say food and money argued a lot about who is paying at the restaurant. Ah, yeah. Um, because we are in a relationship, we try to contribute 50-50 and because I'm kind of very but, stingy. Yeah, no, no, it's very stingy, but it's also like I am like Mr. Independent Woman, so I want to pay for myself. So at the beginning of the relationship was like me, I was trying to pay when we were going out for dinner, but then she was always like, okay, I can pay myself. Do you think you need to pay for myself? Why you should be paying for myself? No, for me, 
do you think for you me, need to pay for, for myself? Me yes. So, and then after that, it's like I'm a married woman. Yeah, so initially it was like that. I would, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I realized that when we moved in together, you want to go out a little bit more. And I was like, eh, my budget is not going down that way. Yes. So, so the thing it was at the beginning, I wanted to go out more and you were was willing to pay and she didn't want me to pay. Then we were when we got married, we went out too much too uh, too often, too often and then she said, Okay, we're spending budget. too out of my budget, we should reduce. We should reduce, so I was so just like now I'm having dinner for my for just with myself, you know, I go to the restaurant. I order still order two different dishes for two people stop but it, I eat all it by it, myself. Stop it, but I just say initially we also i remember at the beginning of this issue we also started going out maybe once in three months because every time it was like my chance to go and pay i was like no we're not going out today i'm definitely just cooking something stingy no it's, it's called financial management at a personal level stingy no <laughs> so another thing that is also very yeah okay it's also about food this is also mm -hmm. about food so we have a food budget obviously and obviously uh, yes yes of we course we put our food budget that is a little bit low to be honest yeah so we can cut down on the calories to reduce. yeah so she said she's she you know how she's planning the diet she cut on the budget so basically if she's doing you see she's dieting you also have to diet with, with because her. the budget is reduced because the budget is reduced so the problem here is who always just go beyond the budget and, and it's not me i can control the budget very well I, okay I, of course i don't complain when the food comes home and we eat it or like when you buy a bag or rob or whatever but rob. then at the end of but the month month, when i check the budget i mean i kind of already knew that it was over but when i check it on the account and i see that <laughs> mm, i'm not happy mm -hmm. just stay stay you know did you Stitch respect the budget, the budget this, during this time? I tried. Like, I think for me, it's, you know, I was living by myself for a long time as a student. So I would go for 50 euros and I'm through. Yeah, so the, the, I Three think... Three cages of pasta, two liters of ketchup. And that was for the entire breakfast, month. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. You are through. Your body is still in shape. Uh, yeah, of course. You are 18 years old. <laughs> so, a gal, you can also... <laughs> You can also eat at McDonald's every single day. Yeah, you know, but you still... can't afford McDonald's with a 50, 50 euro budget. Uh, I, I know how to respect the budget. There's somebody who cannot respect the budget. I don't Let blame you say, all the I time don't because you also the, buy delicious the food. I buy and delicious food because I'm Italian, of course. But the other thing is, you know, we have this card, with the, the common card. I don't see like the, the, the budget on the card, so I just go and buy. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. what I feel like I want to eat. Uh, because you know, there's money on the car anyway. Like, there's yeah. no money on the car, so uh, let's buy. <laughs> Let people complain two weeks later. Two weeks later. Hell. You know what is the trick, I guess, if you want to really to stick to this budget? Limit. No, the you budget. take out the card and you take you put the, the, the money, cash. the cash. Because in this way, yeah, once the money are finished, are finished. Yeah, you've got to be eating ice every dinner if you finish the budget a week before end of the month. Ice? Ice know. cream or the ice? Ice, like low calorie. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Tonight? I was thinking ice with salt and pepper. <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, babe, we have to reduce the calorie intake per day. Lampy, that's like, that's <laughs> that, yes. lampy. We have to reduce the, uh, uh, me, like, I'm Italian, I eat pasta two times a day. What and then is the, the problem? next day, Ali cooks pasta. I mean, he doesn't force me to eat it. I obviously also love pasta. I have eat you it. cooked pasta? No, 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 that, that is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, baby, I'm going to, to cook some pasta for lunch. And then she comes, okay, then, and I'm just going to have some fruits. Don't cook for me. Then when I'm cooking, no, I'm about to just filling my, my plate. And she comes to me and I said, oh, can I, have a, can I have a little taste of it? And then I said, yeah, don't you worry. I already cooked like 200 grams more for you. There is a portion in the pot. Yes, then I eat that. And, and then, then after that, I'm really feeling guilty. Then he comes like, 
Why did we even cook pasta? Why did, we why even did you cook pasta? Why did you cook pasta? <laughs> and why did we eat it? We said we are definitely going to. Eat. So this and that is a bit of a one of the Every argument day. that we have about food. The other kind of argument is when somebody has to cook something, the other people comes and tell you how to how you should oh, be cooked. That, that is even worse. That is like Ale twenty four seven. It's like I'm really busy. I'm busy. Can you please prepare lunch? Then I go to the kitchen, then uh, did you put in salt? Uh, did you add oil? How much salt did you add? I'm like, just let me... Just you're let me even, leave, yeah, leave. But you're not even busy then, because you're calling me every single time to but check on me. if you cook pasta, I need to supervise. I need to supervise. Yeah, you don't need to, you want to, and if you're busy, please stay busy. This is also one of the arguments that just pretty much, I think, every second day when you're cooking. Because mm -hmm. if you're not... If, I don't know, it's weird. Because I can cook good pasta by myself and I think you know that mm -hmm. I don't need your supervision now maybe yes after almost 10 years of being together I, I don't care you can cook porridge as good as I do I am already graduated I can cook pasta even uh, better uh, than you uh, so just you don't need to supervise me you absolutely see. not so you argue about it this like just like good morning argument who makes the bet Oh, yeah, that is even more, I mean... It's not bad. No, no, there are two things that really piss me off. <laughs> the dishes... Uh, another passionate topic for you. Yes. <laughs> dishes in the sink, in the kitchen sink in the morning. And the second thing is who is making the bed. The bed should be done. I personally hate, really hate, when I go to bed and the bed is a mess. And you need to to make it right away just to get in bed. Or you, or, you just jump in. Or you just jump in. Yeah, but it's terrible because you are like sleeping in the in in the dog house basically. Like mm -hmm. the, you, you have the blanket that are not made, are not well positioned. And there is a part that is of the bed that is is not really well made. You have one feet that is out of the blanket. It's terrible it's terrible and really make me pissed so i just since she is also waking up during the uh during uh usually you are waking up first when uh, when you are working trick wake, trick. You trick, wake, up. wake up first even if you just have to i am the one making the bed all the time <laughs> another another classical solve. i think is uh when we have to go out and people are getting ready and she needs to get ready uh so she's starting like a, a talking to me like 40 minutes before that uh, or w even one hour you know that in one hour we have to we have to get out we have an appointment you know yes and i say yes uh, no problem uh, i can be uh, i like i can be ready in uh, in 10 minutes and then she said are you sure you can be ready in 10 minutes See, baby i can be ready in 10 minutes and then it comes naturally um that uh, it's time to go and uh, i get really ready in 10 minutes and i get her to the doorstep and really like we say that we should go out at 10 minutes for uh, 10 and she's like still in the bathroom and the makeup and then she's starting to say no did you do that did you do that no did you do that Oh, did you yeah. remember that? You can know. You can already go in the car. I will. Said the Navi. That's also and an said, option. And said the Navi. That's also an option. Yeah, but it is like okay. <laughs> so I got out, and then I need to wait ten minutes in the car with the Navi that is set. Absolutely no problem. But let me tell you, this is my problem with the situation about getting ready because. Ale is ready. We let me say we are going grocery shopping. No, or we just say we are going to Glyso and pick up pumpkins and then do grocery shopping on the way and things like that, mm -hmm. right? Fine. 10 minutes is ready. It's going out. Fine. Ah, did you do shopping list? No. Did you pick up the bottle? No. Did you take the shopping bag? No. But it's ready. It's outside. But if I'm thinking if, it, if I'm not ready, why don't you just pick up a few things? Then we get in the car and I always, with the Navi, it's like, go, please put the Navi. Make sure the Navi is ready. You don't do that. We get in the car. The first thing you do is start driving, like, I don't know, between where we live and the main street is, I don't know, a few meters, maybe mm -hmm. 200 meters, or even less, just to get to the main street and say, which side do I turn? Like, why didn't you put the <laughs> nap? No. No, baby, that That's is not so true. true. It's not true. It's not true. I put my phone. 
Just because I I really irritated for the name from the car and I don't like it, so I prefer just to Google it. Oh, interesting explanation. We can discuss about problem all. Yeah. There's a whole lot more, but I think this is all so, we wanted to share with you today. I mean, yeah, what is to just to summarize the thing is, you know, there is no relationship without these little problems. But if you really love each other, apologize. you will find, yeah, you have to learn how to apologize. You learn to, how to make up to your partner if you have done something wrong that is really irritating or making your partner in peace. And of course, you just need to accept each other and each other's differences and different way of thinking and timing and organizing their day because that is the basic if you want to be in a marriage and uh, in a relationship in general. Otherwise, Otherwise, make, make contracts and make schedules. Make contracts. If it's also my way, it's like just contract print, get somebody signed stuff. Yes, and then we should have penalty if somebody is not doing something. So you pay me yeah, because I think it's a, for you. It's about money. If you have to, if, if, yeah, if, if I'm you definitely are, going to save my money. If I have to. Yeah, if we say okay, who is not making the dish in the evening? To pay ten euros. Oh, oh. either I'm not eating or I'm not. No, no, yeah, that is also if you are not oh. eating. Yeah. Why am I making the dishes? I'm not. Like Where I remember the at the village, if at you really didn't village. want to make the dishes, you say that you didn't want to. You eat. just go sleep before people start cooking dinner. So before we leave, guys, there is the question of the days. I just wanted to ask you: Do you do you think there are like your problems are similar to the problems that you have your partner, or your partner has some particularity, some things that really annoying you and you can't stand it, and you always have arguing about even though you love each other. Leave that in the comment, please, below. Or maybe you are just in a perfect relationship that might be just like those. Perfect relationship don't exist. Perfect, perfect relationships are boring. <laughs> <laughs>